Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my most crazy guest stories from when I was working as a food and beverage cast member at Walt Disney World. So, let's get started. So, you may have mentioned that I said was working. I do still work for the Walt Disney Company. Um, I do still work at Disney World. I am still a Walt Disney World cast member, but I am not still in, um, I am not still a quick service food and beverage cast member. Thank you. Um, but I do have a lot of fun, fun stories to tell and I will be talking more about uh, my new role in location in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to share with you guys some of my absolute craziest stories from when I was working as a food and beverage um, cast member. So, uh, if you don't know, I actually worked at ABC Commissary in Hollywood Studios. Um... It was a little bit crazier than I thought it would be. Um, and I went in with not the greatest attitude and you know, I honestly didn't have the best time there. And once my attitude, once I changed my attitude, it got a whole lot better. So um, if I have any future CPs that got um, quick service food and beverage or you know that you're gonna be at ABC Commissary, go in with an open attitude. Um, go on with an open mindset, with a good attitude, try and make the best of it. It's really not as bad as um, people make it seem, so you can do it. But let's get started on these guest stories. All right, so I'm gonna start out with my um, least craziest to my most craziest. I have three stories that stick out the most to me, three guest experiences that stick out the most. There were a whole lot more, but three main ones. So first off, um, I was at the mobile order counter. Um, and so when it's really busy during lunchtime, a lot of times we'll have two people on mobile orders. So somebody will be standing with the trays until somebody comes up and they'll just be verifying that the right person gets um, the right food, being like, oh, you're Jill Smith. Okay, here's, um, you know, whatever. Um, and then somebody else will be like going and like putting a salad on this one and grabbing the drinks and everything. Um, and so I was one of the two people on mobile order and this lady, um, I guess I think something was missing off of her tray. But let me get you guys a little bit of background information, a little bit of context here. This lady was wearing these rainbow sequined Minnie Mouse ears with a unicorn horn. It's like pastel rainbow sequined Minnie Mouse ears with a unicorn horn. I'll see if I can find a picture of them online and I'll put it in here. I think they have them at Target, um, or at least a Target by my house. Um, so she's wearing those. She's got these rainbow glasses on, not pride glasses, but just like pastel rainbow glasses. Um, you know, like something that you would see like a little kid wearing, you know, cause there's a difference between like pride rainbow and like just regular rainbow you know and like little kid rainbow there's there is a difference um you know and so she's wearing like these pastel rainbow like candy glasses and then she's got this shirt that you know the shirt if you know i'll put a picture of it in here as well but it says it's got the castle and it says my happy place on it and this lady starts throwing a temper tantrum because something was missing off of her tray. I mean, she picks up something and threw it back down on the tray, starts yelling and screaming. And on top of this, right before this happens, she just yelled at her like five-year-old daughter to start to, because she wasn't behaving. And then this lady starts throwing the temper tantrum. She's got the mini, she's got the unicorn sparkly mini ears, the rainbow glasses, the my happy play shirt, and she just lost it. And I looked at the person next to me and I just, I was like, I'm sorry, I just, I can't. And I, I had to turn around, I had to go backstage. I just, I couldn't, I was laughing. I was like, I can't do this. I can't keep a straight face. So that one was pretty funny. That's just a little glimpse of what you get to deal with, with at quick service at Disney World. But, um, so yeah, that one was just more so funny than um, crazy, but you deal with those kinds of people every day. But 
that's fun. A lot of people, a lot of the crazy guests that you deal with in food, it doesn't really like you are gonna have a lot of people that yell at you. That's just working at Disney, but it's something that like it happens, and then when they walk away, you turn to your friend and you start laughing. Like it's like okay, what? Um, okay, so my next story is really really crazy. Uh, so I was out in the dining room and I was on floating buster. So basically I was just helping out whoever was in the dining room, whoever needed help. Um, just basically just helping wipe down tables because it gets crazy um, around lunchtime because there's so many people. So, you know, as soon as one family gets up, another family sits down just because that's what you have to do when you're at Disney and you're trying to find a table to sit and eat lunch. Um, so I was helping out just wipe down tables and things and I come to this table and it's a dirty table and it has a phone and sunglasses on it and so um and it was empty but it was really dirty and I was like okay you know a family probably just got up and somebody left their phone it's you know I saw a family by the door so I was like okay well I'll just wait a minute here I'll clean the table if somebody and I'll see if somebody comes back so I did I cleaned the table I picked up the phone just wiped down the table put it back down and just kind of stood there for a couple minutes and I didn't see anybody coming back so I went and took the phone to my coordinator and I come back out and this man just starts yelling at me he goes did you take my phone and I was like oh um I did just find a phone on a table so I went and took it back to my coordinator for lost and found I didn't want anyone to steal it and he goes that was saving my table and I was like oh I'm okay um let me go i was like can you describe the phone for me let me go see if it's yours i, I just didn't want anyone to steal it um uh, you know and so i described it i brought it out and he um had him unlock it and everything and got it back to him and i apologized again i was like i'm so sorry but again about that and he goes uh yeah and i was like okay okay like sorry i don't know i just kind of walked away i was like i don't know what his problem i was like okay <laughs> went back and just went back to my job I told a couple friends like that I told a couple of my coworkers what had gone on that this man had like given me a really rough time and every time I looked up I just saw him like glaring at me and I was like you know what I did not come here I did not come to work today to have to deal with this so I went around um I went backstage and basically at ABC commissary there's two sides of the dining room and so I had been on the one side for a little bit I was like you guys look like you have this side under control this man's giving me a really rough time I don't really feel comfortable staying over here so I'm gonna go help out on the other side and so I went around backstage so he didn't see me go over because I didn't want him following me or anything went around backstage I had I even told a coordinator what happened that this man was just like giving me a really rough time and I did not feel comfortable and you know, they told me they were like, stay, but you know, they told me they, that I could take a water break or something backstage or like just chill back here for a couple minutes, you're fine. Um, and then I went back out and helped out on the other side. And I came to, one of my friends came up and told me later, it had been like an hour and a half, maybe two hours later, that I eventually went back over to the other side to see if they needed help with anything again. And one of my friends on that side told me that he had actually gone up to her later and had complained about me and said that it was the worst service he had ever experienced and all of this that and the other and that he wouldn't be back and i don't even know but i mean like my coordinator told me she's like i mean you're supposed to if you see a phone you're supposed to turn it in like that's what you're supposed to do so and my friend told him that she was like were you the man that happened to like leave his phone on the table and he was like yes i was and she's like, well, yeah, um, you know, that's just our protocol. When we see an item of value, we are supposed to turn it into lost and found with, um, with one of our managers. That that way, nobody steals it or anything. And he was just a not happy man. He, I don't know, something. He had a rough day. Um, but my last story, um, my for my last story this is probably the craziest thing that has ever i've ever seen in a restaurant ever <laughs> only at disney um but this was on the day of our state inspection so um restaurants at disney go through a state inspection as well um and so basically what happened was we had the inspector walking around we had 
Um, one of my leaders, which if you don't know how Disney works, you have coordinators, which are kind of like shift managers almost. And then you have leaders, which are like the big managers. Um, and so I, we, there was a leader, there were both of our chefs. Um, there was, I think an area leader, like a higher up leader. And then there was the state inspector walking around our kitchen throughout the day. And so they were walking around and you know, things move a little bit slowly slower when you have an inspector going through everybody's being extra cautious um you know they have to pause stuff they have to pause some of the processes so people can so the inspector can check um temperatures and you know everything they have to ask people questions and all that so stuff does move a little bit slower um but um this man on the counter was not so i was working on the counter that day and this man was not happy that he, with how long he had waited for his food. And so he sees that there's a big entourage of important people walking around in the back. And he starts yelling back at the inspector. And I was, um, I was working, I was getting somebody beer um, because at ABC Commissary we serve beer. And what had happened was um, our Bud Light had run out downstairs in the keg room. So somebody was changing the keg. Um, so I was waiting for that. So my back was actually turned away. I was, I kept on checking to see if they had changed it yet. Um, but he sees that there's basically this entourage of people and they had come around the front of the counter to check the coolers, um, on the counter. And this man starts yelling at the inspector. I kid you not. He starts yelling at the inspector. You need to get out of these people's way. These people cannot do their job when you are back here. I don't know who you are, but all of you important people need to leave because I have been waiting too long for my, for my cheeseburger and you need to leave because these people cannot do their job right when you're here. And he went off i am not kidding he kept going until they were out of sight and i was like and luckily my back like i said my back was turned because i was like pouring beer and i was laughing i was like oh my gosh i cannot believe he just did that like i was like oh my gosh like who on earth has like who does that who goes into a restaurant and yells at the freaking inspector who does that Oh my goodness. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these stories. Um, those are my top three crazy Disney guest stories um, from my time working in food and beverage at ABC Commissary at Walt Disney World. Um, like I said, I actually currently do not work there, so you guys can see a fun video coming soon to um, show you guys my new role slash location reveal. Um, I have a new super, super fun role location. I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, so, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, go leave it a big thumbs up. Go hit that subscribe button down below and leave a comment. Say hi. Don't be shy. Start up a conversation. Meet somebody new. Um, yeah, that's what's happening. And I'll see y'all real soon.